following the global success of Godzilla and Kong Skull Island comes the next chapter in Warner Bros. Pictures and Legendary Pictures Cinematic Monsterverse, an epic action adventure that pits Godzilla against some of the most popular monsters in pop culture history. The new story follows the efforts of the cryptozoological agency Monarch as its members face off against a battle of god-sized monsters, including the mighty Godzilla who collides with Mothra, Rodan, and his ultimate nemesis, the three-headed King Ghidorah. When these ancient superspecies, thought to be mere myths, rise again, they all vie for supremacy, leaving humanity's very existence hanging in the balance. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing, and if you like the content seen here, then be sure to hit that notification bell and like button, that way you will indeed be notified for any awesome videos like this one in the future. So with that being said, let's jump into this Godzilla King of the Monsters Target exclusive Burning Godzilla figure. So first up, having a look at the awesome included NECA box. Now here's a nice, you know, kind of concept poster art depiction of Burning Godzilla here. It looks pretty cool. It says Godzilla King of the Monsters on the bottom. Godzilla. Really nice, you know, kind of, you know, containment, you know, kind of caged up sort of look. Um, you have Monsterverse right there. Top of the box. Showcases a nice picture of Godzilla. Monsterverse. Godzilla King of the Monsters. NECA. 65 year anniversary Godzilla uh, 65 year anniversary Godzilla measures up to 12 inches head to tail with hinged jaw and over 25 points of articulation Godzilla Godzilla likes to say Godzilla a lot I'll give you that a um, nice you know glamour shot of the light piping on this figure um, Godzilla King of the Monsters Rodan Mothra and Godzilla collect them all more 65 year anniversary Godzilla King of the Monsters, the um, kind of, you know, info that I read in my intro, nice picture of Godzilla there, and that's pretty much it for the box, let's get the figure in here. So here he is, just looking magnificent, and I really shouldn't have this figure, it shouldn't be here, it's a Target exclusive, which is, by now you should know, only a thing that exists in the US. It did exist here for a couple of years, but they weren't making a lot of money in Canada. But yeah, I shouldn't even have this. Shit shouldn't even be here, but I'm glad that I stumbled across it in my local collector's club store. Um, anyway, he looks pretty cool. Does have tons of articulation. He's got movement here, movement at the uh, elbow and wrist. Does have like full, you know, wrist articulation. His um, neck kind of moves, but it's kind of hindered by his dorsal plates. His head moves. He does have that hinged jaw that was advertised. He does have a waist swivel, but it's really stiff. Um, like I said, his arms do move out like that. They do move out like that, kind of. So it's kind of just on this kind of rotating ball joint here. And yeah, it just looks nice. His legs do move, but they're kind of stiff. But not that you'd want to move them that much, because it's just... He's Godzilla. You don't want him, like, throwing kicks or throwing down with somebody. Because he's just a giant dinosaur dragon. Now, what's really cool about the MonsterVerse figures is that every MonsterVerse Godzilla you'll find out has hinges at every mint of the tail. As you can see, hinge, 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 hinge. This part is not hinged. But yeah, pretty nice articulation for this big guy here. I do like it. And now let's do some size comparisons between this big boy and some other Godzilla figures I have. So first up, here is our Target exclusive Godzilla King of the Monsters 2019 Burning Godzilla figure from NECA. Next to the TriStar 1998 Baby Zilla. And they don't look that bad together. Next up, here we have the Burning Godzilla figure next to the Toho Godzilla against Mothra Godzilla figure. And they scale great to one another. They don't look that bad together. Um, I really like them together. And then here we have the Defo King Godzilla. And they look pretty cool together as well. Then we have it next to a Godzilla 2014 cutesy kind of chibi figurine. 
Then we have it next to an iPhone Godzilla 2014 scalers. So you can attach it to your iPhone and it looks like he's climbing up it. And finally, here he is next to the monstrous letdown burning Godzilla Defo King figure. My god. This one beats this one out of the park like it literally does. This one sucked. But anyway, they don't look that bad together. It's just, wow. The Mecha did a way better job than Defo King. I am really happy to have this guy, to say the least. I mean, I'm glad that I was able to get a hold of him just because, you know, he's Godzilla, first of all. And second of all, he's, you know, fire-themed. He's burning Godzilla from the MonsterVerse. Now, those of you who don't know, I have a thing for fire. Actually, even my name, Blaze, means fire. So I like the idea of, like, fiery reds, oranges, and yellows. It just, it's something that I always liked. Um, I guess my parents knew that I was going to be a fire boy. Anyway, this is really cool, and definitely he beats the uh, monstrous letdown Defo King burning Godzilla, because this guy looks a lot better. And as you can see in my glamour shot here, of uh, just my burning Godzilla with the backdrop that's included, and it just looks pretty cool. He's definitely one of those figures that you're going to want to do a lot of photo shoots with, just because of how cool he looks. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Do take care, and have a great day.